Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Noble and today I'm going to be sharing with you my Blackwing debt profile. So I did this one a few months ago, uh, but I kind of just wanted to update it because I'm playing a few different things now, especially in the extra deck and I just kind of wanted to revisit this one. Blackwings are a fan favorite, of course, you know, me personally, I love Raid Raptors more. I think Raid Raptors are better, but Blackwings are awesome. Full Armor Master is a awesome, awesome monster of a card. It's a little expensive, sitting around the like $20 range right now, I think, unless that's gone down recently. I uh, definitely hope this thing gets reprinted soon, but yeah, guys, Black Wings are really cool. They utilize the Synchro mechanic as Raid Raptors utilize the Exceed mechanic, and it's just a lot of fun to play. Real quick before we jump into this, if you're here and you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell so you become part of the notification team, so you don't miss any kind of deck profile or anything that goes on this channel. And if you're watching this video, give it a thumbs up. It allows myself to circulate around YouTube, which is very critical for a small YouTuber like me. We're like a little bit away from 2000 in time recording at least and that's super exciting guys so without further ado let's jump right on into this one so to kick this dip profile off we're playing triple latwing simone the poison wind uh this card is really vital for the success of this deck uh what this card does is if you control no monsters and have this card in your hand you can banish one other blackwing monster from your hand and place a black whirlwind from your deck Face up to your spell and trap card zone, then either send this card to the graveyard or immediately after the effect resolves, normal summon it without tributing, which is really cool. Uh, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except dark monsters, which who cares for the most part. And you only use this effect of Black Wing summoning the poison wind once per turn. During the end phase, uh, send the Black Whirlwind placed by this card effect to the graveyard, and if you do, you take a thousand damage. Really, who cares about that thousand damage? You got out of Black Whirlwind and you got out of Simone. That's really awesome. Simone, I think I'm saying that right. Probably not. I probably don't ever say anything right. Uh, next up, we're playing Triple Blackwing Chris the Crack of Dawn. This one's really cool because if you control a Blackwing monster other than this card, you can special summon this card from your hand. You only special summon uh, Blackwing Chris the Crack of Dawn once per turn. Uh, and then this way, and then once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by spell and trap card effects. So that is really cool. Just an easy body to get out onto the field. And he also has like kind of a weird little protection, but. Hey, sometimes that might come up. Sometimes you might be like, oh yeah, this can't be destroyed by your Raigeki or whatever it is you're trying to put out. So uh, sometimes that's really nice. So it's an easy body out in the field that has some type of protection, which is better than no protection. So that's cool. Uh, playing triple of Blackwing Gale, the Whirlwind. What this one does is if you control a Blackwing monster other than this card, you special summon this card from your hand, and then once per turn, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls that targets attack and defense become half its current attack and defense. That is actually really useful. Sometimes I forget this card does that. Before you can go into synchro plays, you can just use this card's effect uh, and then go to your place from there. And then when you get out your boss monster, because of this card, the monster you targeted's attack and defense is already halved, and you kind of don't have to worry about that. So that, that is really nice. I do like this card at three. Also playing triple Blackwing Boro, the Spear. The common ones don't have the shiny ones right now, unfortunately. Uh, if you control a Blackwing monster other than this card, you can special summon this card from your hand. Are you seeing, you know, a trend there? Uh, if this card attacks a fifth position monster, inflict piercing damage. I mean, wow, who cares about the <laughs> piercing damage, right? Don't think you're going to win many games with that effect. But it, you will definitely win games with the effect of being able to bring the card straight out from your hand because it allows you to go to your extra deck plays, which is awesome. Black wings are like super easy to swarm the field with. Like really, really are. Really wish I had the shiny ones. Next up, uh, playing triple of, I mean, when I'm playing against this deck, I hate this card, but black wing Auster, the south wind. Uh, so what this one does is it cannot be special summoned when this card is normal summon. You can target one of your banished level four lower black wing monsters, special summon it in defense position. You can banish this card from the graveyard to activate one of the following effects. Uh, you place a Black Feather counter or counter counter, excuse me, on one Black Wind Dragon you control equal to the number of card or cards your opponent controls, which is cool. Or you place a Wedge counter on each face up monster your opponent controls that does not have one, which is probably what you're gonna do. That, golly, that just sucks. And, and we'll go into if you're not familiar with the Black Wings, we'll go into why that sucks <laughs> when we get into the extra deck. But that can literally be devastating just being able to place a wedge counter on each face up monster opponent controls that doesn't have one hey you get a wedge counter and you get a wedge counter and everyone gets a wedge counter even though you don't want it and i'm about to ruin your life this card is really really fantastic definitely helps set up full armor master quite a bit uh next up playing triple of blackwing harm i just say the dust because i don't know how to say harm harmaton harmaton 
or Manton. I don't know. If you control a Blackwing monster on this card, guess what? You special summon this card from your hand. You only special summon this card once per turn this way. When this card is normal or special summoned, uh, you can target another Blackwing monster you control and increase this card's level by that monster, which is really helpful. Uh, just being able to go into your extra place, easy out in the field, level manipulation kind of you know can help out to go into something that you need to go into. So really really cool. If you wanted to bump this one down, I have seen this bump down to two. Uh, I tried that and I missed the third one. But if you want to do it too, that's fine. Like with any of these, honestly. I mean, you can play this deck however you want to play it, but this is how I'm playing it. Next up, playing double of probably the ugliest bird I've ever seen in my life. Blizzard the Far North. That is one ugly feathery beast. Uh, it's a wing beast tuner. It cannot be special summoned when this card is normal summoned. You can target level 4 or lower black wing monster in your graveyard and special summon that target defense position. I can't, you know. Don't know if you know yet, if you noticed it yet, but Black Wings really swarm the board. It is super easy to go into your secret plays for the most part. They they really take care of that. You don't really have to worry about getting bodies into the field too much. Um, you're not gonna win prettiest bird contest, but you're gonna get bodies on the field. Like it's it's gonna be okay. Next up, playing double of Black Wind, Oroshi the Squall. Now, what this one does is if you control a Black Wind monster other than this card, I'm sure you have no idea what I'm about to say next. You can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Black Wind, Oroshi the Squall once per turn uh, this way. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro material, you can target one monster in the field and change that target's battle position, which is cool, I guess. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Who cares, really? But I guess it could be useful in some niche situations uh also running one zephyros the elite what this one does is this card is in your graveyard you can return one face up card uh you control the hand special summon this card and then you take 400 burn damage really who cares about that one gladius the midnight sun uh if the only face up monster you control is one black wing monster other than this card you can special summon this card from your hand and then once per turn this card cannot be destroyed by battle which is cool uh one miss B valley thunderbird and then also one apex avian because this is a black wing deck and just like any other wing beast deck i mean that negate thing loop is there and it's disgusting but hey it's there if you don't want to run this that's fine you don't have to but you know i'm throwing it in this profile anyway because it's there and you can use it for the hand traps i'm just opting to play triple drill and lock which i mean definitely not flexing on the fact that i finally have a place i have two play sets now believe it or not of drill and lock definitely didn't up until <laughs> the maximum gold release but now i do and i love it absolutely love it so i'm playing triple gold, gold blah, 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 draw and lock and then also playing triple uh ghost ogre and if you'd rather play literally any other hand trap you can do that like i always say the hand trap package is completely up to preference and what you want to play this is just what i'm playing so that's it for the monsters to get into the spells um running one monster reborn and one rank up magic soul shape force so monster reborn just being an amazing card just a free special summon from the graveyard and then rank up magic soul shape force is really awesome you pay half your life points and target a raid raptor exceed monster in your graveyard to summon it the special summon from your extra at one exceed monster that is two ranks higher than that monster using its material this is treated as an exceed summon you might be saying hold up noble have you lost your marbles this is a black wing profile not a raid raptor i'm gonna need you to get your life straight well you know what number one you're at I do need to get my life straight but that's not relevant right here because we do run uh, four tricks. I think it's four tricks. I can't remember his name. The, the exceed one that lets you special summon stuff from the deck. And using this card, we can literally bring out Infinity using that. So uh, we do run one of these in this deck. It does help out quite a bit. Also, one foolish burial as well because um, I mean, hey, putting stuff in the graveyard is basically what every deck's about these days. So that's it for the one ofs. Definitely playing triple of the really awesome shiny black whirlwinds. Was really excited. When this got the ultra rare reprint in uh, Battles of Legend Armageddon, uh, what Black Whirlwind does, it's like a way better version of Raid Raptor Nest. Definitely jealous that um, Black Wings have this card. But when a Black Wing monster is normal summoned to your field, you can add a Black Wing monster, premium to debt to your hand with a less attack than that monster, which is really abusable. And I'm still really salty <laughs> that Raid Raptors do not have this type of card yet. And then also, lastly, because this is a lot of darks, we're playing triple Allure of Darkness, just like in Raid Raptors. A lot of draw power in this deck. If you don't know what Allure of Darkness does, um, if you've been living under a rock, that's fine. You know, come out of it and let me tell you what it does. You drop two cards and you banish one dark monster from your hand. And if you didn't do, if you don't have any in your hand, you send your entire hand in the graveyard. 
Okay, so that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's jump into the extra deck. So to start off the extra deck, we're running one Blackwing Full Armor Master. Wow, that looks really good in that light. Woo! So just one because I only have one. I don't have a second one. If you do have two, I recommend you play two of this card. Uh, Full Armor Master is the card I was referring to when we are talking about wedge counters and while why it's such a big deal that you can just banish that card from the graveyard and put wedge counters basically in all of your opponent's face-up monsters they don't have one already. So Full Armor Master is basically like Raid Raptor's Ultimate Falcon. He's unaffected by card effects each time your opponent each time a monster your opponent controls activates its effect, you place a wedge counter on that opponent's monster maximum one after that effect resolves. Uh, once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls with a wedge counter. Take control of it. Mines. <laughs> once per turn, during your end phase, you can destroy all monsters on the field that have a wedge counter. So, literally, you're like, mm, any, mini, miny, that one, and the rest, yeah, bye bye. So, this card is really fantastic. There's a reason this card is 20 bucks a pop right now. Uh, just being able to, like I said, banish that card from the graveyard, place wedge counters on your opponent's board. It's, even if they activate monster effects with this card's effect, it gets a wedge counter. Ooh, you get a wedge counter too. I like that one. And then if you don't, you know, after the one you take at the end phase, you can destroy all monsters on the field that have a wedge counter. This card can really restrict your opponent, and they are going to want to try and get rid of this as quickly as the cannon has the best protection in the game. It's unaffected by other card effects. That's absolutely amazing. That's so, so good. Also running one Blackwing Armor Master, not full Armor Master, just Armor Master, but he's still really cool. It cannot be destroyed by battle, and you take no battle damage from attacks involved in this card. At the end of the damage step, if this card is attacked, excuse me, if this card attacked a monster, you can place a wedge counter on that monster maximum one. You can remove all wedge counters from your opponent's monsters as the attack and defense of those monsters. That have wedge counters becomes zero until the end of this turn, which that in itself is also really awesome. That can help get over a lot of things. Uh, next up, playing one Obsidian Hot Joe. This card is really cool. I really like it a lot. Uh, you can target level 5 or higher Wing Beast type monster in your graveyard, special summon it during either player's turn. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets only this card, or when your opponent targets this card for an attack, you can target another Blackwing monster you control that would be an appropriate target, and that card or effect or attack <laughs> now targets the new target. You can only use this effect once per turn. So basically, it's a built in monster reborn that can kind of deviate things away from itself to something else. So, and on top of looking cool and having a cool name, Obsidian Hot Joe. That's freaking baller. Also playing one Chidori, the Rain Sprinkling. Uh, if the card is Synchro Summon using a Blackwing monster material, it is treated as a tuner while face up on the field, which is awesome. Uh, this card gains 300 attack for each Blackwing monster in your graveyard, so he can get beefy. Uh, when this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can target Wing Beast monster, uh, Wing Beast type Synchro monster in your graveyard, and set another copy of this card and special summon it. And then also. Running uh, one, I don't know, say a Rakiri, the Rain Shower. So this one's cool because if this card is Synchro Summon using a Blackwing Monster material, which it's gonna, uh, it's treated as a tuner as well while face up on the field. And then once per turn, you can target cards your opponent controls up to the number of other Blackwing Monsters you control and destroy them. So by saying other, it doesn't include himself, but you'll have a full board a lot of times. So you can just basically pop cards your opponent controls, like just a ton of them. Um, so that's really cool. Next up, uh, playing one <laughs> nothing, nothing, the uh, Starlight. So what he does is when the card special summon inflict 800 burn damage to your opponent. Ooh, wow, that sucks. And then if there's a one phase up monster your opponent controls, lose uh, 800 attack and defense. Uh, you can only use this effect once per turn. During your main phase, you can normal summon one black wing monster in addition to your normal summer set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. That is really cool, however. That is an awesome effect. Also running a Blackwing Dragon, um, if you're running the trap, which I'm not running it in this build, but I, Lord Jesus, I can't remember the name of it. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. But if you're running the trap, it, it can basically cheat this card out. But when this card, uh, whenever you would take damage from a card effect, you place a Black Feather counter on this card instead. This card loses 700 attack for each Black Feather counter on it. Uh, once per turn, you remove all Black Feather counters from this card to have one face up monster your opponent controls lose 700 attack. For each Black Feather counter and, and inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack lost by that monster because of this effect. There's a lot of stuff to say your opponent takes burn damage and your monster that monster loses attack, basically. I'm running one Bills as well. And then for the uh, links, I'm running one Bills, I don't know how to say it. I'm running one Wise Tricks and then also one uh, Samorg as well. Going into the Exceeds, uh, running one number 60, Durgus the Timeless. Double Force Tricks. Okay, so it is Force Tricks. Can't remember the name of it. Force Tricks is really important because it works just as well in Blackwings as it is Raid Raptors. 
two level four monsters against 500 attack and defense for each winged beast monster you control other than this card. But the really cool thing is that once per turn you can detach the material from this card and add a level four dart winged beast monster from your deck to your hands, which just really helps out the consistency. And then also using Soul Shade Force, you can go into Infinity as well. That really awesome gold, uh, maximum gold rare. And then to, you know finish this all out, I'm running double, uh, excuse me, one Divine Arsenal A A Zeus Sky Thunder because. If you choose to go the exceed route, you can basically just attack with something and go into him. And he is an amazing card that can absolutely win you games. Uh, if you don't want to run this card, that's fine. If you want to stick to more Blackwing stuff, that's totally fine. But, you know, having a decent exceed lineup, uh, I've actually won with this card a few times in this deck, which is really cool. So that is actually it for the deck profile, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, Black Wings are a lot of fun they're basically the you know complete rivals of uh, raid raptors which i'm fine with because they're a lot of fun to play full armor master is an expensive car like i said about 16 20 bucks a piece if you already have multiple copies of them i do recommend you play multiple of him in the deck he can absolutely win you games by himself uh but yeah let me know down in the comments below i'd love to hear what is your favorite winged beast deck mine's absolutely raid raptors but black wings are a ton of fun as well on top of Harpies, and there's a lot of them out there, especially the new Tri Brigade engine that's out now. I mean, you can basically throw it in a lot of stuff, which, you know, I'm definitely going to be delving into throwing that to some of the stuff as well. So, to be looking forward to that. And if you're here, like I said earlier, and you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. I'd absolutely love that. Hit the bell so you become a part of the notification team so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. And also, give this video a thumbs up. It allows my videos to circulate around YouTube. It makes me happy, it makes me sleep well, and should make you feel good too. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, I love you. I will see you in the next video.